Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi, guys, and welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about how the pros move slightly differently to nearly everybody else in the tennis world and how by moving the way that the pros do, you will see the ball better and therefore become more consistent and more powerful. Now, most players, when moving to the ball, simply move as quickly as they can and position themselves in the right place to line up with the ball and hit the ball. So for most players, the movement to the ball looks a little bit like this. And there's a better way. If we watch the pros moving, then the way they move is slightly different. Let me show you what I mean from the front and from the back. When the pro player moves out to the ball, then it's very unusual if both heels touch the ground at the same time. It doesn't matter if one heel does, that's largely irrelevant. So you very often see this position where this foot is loaded to the ground and this foot, the toes are taking the weight and the heels off the ground. Or you'll see this position where both feet, the heels are off the ground. But almost never when the pro moves out to the ball, do you see both heels going to the ground in the movement to the ball. Now there's a very simple reason for this. What happens when the heels are off the ground, then the ankles, the knees, and all of the joints and the muscles of the lower body are actually engaged. When the heels go on the ground, almost all of those joints become neutral. And that means that the movement and energy that's required in each step is carried through the lower body, into the upper body, through the eyes. And you see, when that happens, my view of the world is something like this. When the pro moves and they keep their heels off the ground, and so they're engaging the ankles, the knees, the quadriceps, all of the strong parts of the leg to absorb that energy and leave the upper body to be gliding across the court, then the view the player sees is something like this. In the first one, it's a little bit like driving a tractor over uneven land with the whole world bouncing around. In the second one, it's a like being in a chauffeur driven limo. There's still some movement, but it's pretty smooth. Now this is an important difference because with the head bouncing around in this fashion, then it's not only a little bit more difficult to get balance, but also it's much more difficult to judge the depth of the ball as the spatial awareness is impeded when the head's bouncing up and down. When you have this smoother position, this gliding to the ball, then the head stays static and the eye can see with much more detail and you'll be able to judge the depth and speed of the oncoming ball way more efficiently. So you need to practice keeping the heels off the ground. At first, if this isn't natural, it can seem to be more work, but truthfully, it isn't more work. When you look at runners, you get really two styles. You get the people where the heels go down in the run, and you get the people whose heels naturally do not go down. It's not one's harder or more difficult or more work than the other. It's just an actual style. But in tennis, most recreational players, the vast majority of them, their heels are hitting the ground almost every single time they move out to the ball unless they're sprinting, and we don't do that much sprinting. So try and make sure that your heels stay off the ground. Remember, not both heels. It can be one, it can be the right foot, the left foot, or both feet, but it isn't that both heels have to stay off the ground at the same time. So keep those heels off the ground. Use the strong muscles and the big joints of the leg to absorb that energy from the ground and you can move the upper body and the head smoothly and serenely to the ball and you'll see the ball better, you'll see it clearer, you'll judge it better and you'll play better tennis. If you like this or any other of our ideas and want to take your game to the next level, then try online coaching. The information's in the website below or you can contact us. We begin with a video analysis, but we do so much more than that. We then make personalized lessons such as this one that you've just viewed 
but it's specific for your game, solving your problems and taking your tennis to the next level. So remember, to hit the ball cleaner, to time the ball better, you've got to separate the lower body from the upper body. And to do that, keep those heels off the ground, glide to the ball like the pro players, and you'll hit better and smoother and more efficient tennis today. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.